Welcome back. So the conversation is about self-image. Earlier we talked about how TV, society, and the music that we listen to can sometimes help us create this false self. And that false self is not who we are naturally are. And a lot of times we lose ourselves and we have less self-esteem. So therefore, what I did was I asked everybody to comment about one thing that you think that you can do to improve your self-image. And some of the answers was confidence. That's important because if you don't have confidence in yourself, nobody else will. Another one was speaking positive reinforcements to yourself. Self-talk is so important to your success. Learn how to give yourself the positive reinforcements that you need. Also, it was acceptance of yourself. That's important. You have to accept yourself and realize that you are the best you that they ever will be. Now I'm going to cover the three things you need to do to improve your self-image. Number one, you have to execute forgiveness. First, you got to forgive yourself. So if you was in a bad relationship with women, you have to forgive yourself for allowing that man to be who he was. Men, you got to forgive yourself. You messed up. You let a good one get away. Forgive yourself. Also, you have to forgive the other person. If you have a bad relationship, bad employment, bad parenting, whatever it is, you have to forgive that person because when you release that forgiveness towards them, what it does is open yourself up to loving yourself and accepting yourself. Number two, you have to see yourself as the best that you are. There's a phrase down in South Carolina that we say and it goes, I my daddy son, I the best I know. And if you don't understand Gullah or understand the dialect, what it says is, I am my father's son. I'm the best I know. In my mind, there's nobody better. And that's something that you got to tell yourself and something you have to believe about yourself. The third and final thing is, your competition is you. You have to keep up with yourself. Don't compete with nobody else. I remember playing video games with my, my little cousin, Jamal McNeil. When I was beating him really badly in the football games, probably like 62 to 0. What he would do was, in the fourth quarter, when his man finally get a big hit on my running back... Oh man, did you see that hit? Oh my gosh. For three weeks, Jamal would talk about how big of a hit that was. And I'm like, Jamal, I beat you 62 to 0. Like, we don't need to be talking about the hit. But all Jamal mind was, look, I made a big hit. That's all I care about. And then the next week when he scored a touchdown, oh my gosh, he'll talk about that forever. I beat him 72 to 7, but all Jamal talk about is that touchdown. So what I've learned from Jamal was, he was never competing with me. He only compete with himself. And that's what you have to do. You only compete with yourself. Whether you're an artist, corporate America, entrepreneur, whatever you're doing, there's nobody around you that's your competition other than you. Thank you for watching my video. Please come back and watch more. Check my YouTube channel out. Subscribe to that. Subscribe to my blog site at www.shawinspires.wordpress.com. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace.